Welcome to Law and Order. We wanted to know if Southampton is a safe place for us, the Polish community. So we've come to the Southampton Police Station to talk to Inspector Phil Bates. Inspector Bates, thank you for your time. Is Southampton a safe city? Yes, as long as you take the normal precautions as you would in any other city. So, what would be your simple safety tips? Keep your doors and windows locked when you go out. Keep the place secure. When you do go, do go out, please enjoy yourself, but don't drink too much. Anyone that does drink too much, it seriously in increases the chances of them becoming involved in crime, either as a victim or, or as uh, an offender themselves. So be sensible about what you have to drink. When you go out, keep your valuables safe. If you've got a car, don't leave them on show. Put them away, lock them away out of view in the boot or in the glove box. Um, if you're out and about and you've got your mobile phone, be careful about where you get it out to use it so you don't become a victim of crime. Try not to carry too much cash with you and avoid being on your own late at night in quiet, desolate areas. Even if you follow all the safety tips, it's still possible that we will be the victim of the crime. How do we report this to the police? If you or your property are in immediate danger, then as you would in Poland, call 999 or 112. The most important thing is that you tell us what is happening and where you are. Are there any facilities if the person does not speak good English? If calling the emergency number is 999 or 112, you will be put through to a British Telecom operator. They'll ask you, do you want the police, fire or ambulance service? Just put over your language, explain your language, and they will eventually put you through to the police control room. Tell them the language you speak, and they will contact an interpreter so they can communicate with you. If you're able to, please get over where you are so that we can at least deploy a unit towards you. If it's the non-emergency number, again you'll be put through to our call centre and give them the language that you need and they will speak to an interpreter so we can communicate with you. You said that 999 or 112 is for when you or your property is in immediate danger. But what if you come home and find out that someone has stolen or damaged some of your property? You call the non-emergency number, which for Hampshire and Southampton is 0845 045 4545. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What can we expect to happen if you call the police? It depends on what the nature of your call is. Obviously any urgent or emergency cases we would attend as soon as we're able to straight away. Uh, with officers, depend on the nature of the calls to how many you would get. Uh, for non-urgent calls then it may be that we would arrange to see you later in the day or maybe even later in the week depending on exactly what the nature of the call was. We all understand that driving laws are similar to Poland and we will be stopped by the police if we break them but what happens if we have to produce driving documents at the police station? If a police officer speaks to a motorist whether they've committed any offences or not they're going to ascertain whether the person's got a car on the road legally, is it got, is it roadworthy, is there insurance, have they got the correct driving licence and so the officer can require them to produce their driving documents and when they do that uh, the person has seven days to take the driving documents to the police mm -hmm. station that they nominate. As long as all those documents are in order and they've not committed any other offences then that would be the end of it. What if the driver does not have any insurance, for example? Having no insurance is a very serious matter and the driver will face prosecution. There is a page on your website that gives details about insurance, so really there is no excuse. We hear a lot about domestic violence. How do the police treat this matter? We have a zero tolerance towards domestic violence. Officers are instructed to take positive action at any instance of domestic violence, which obviously include arrests uh, with a view to getting prosecution. We also have, in urgent cases and extreme cases, contacts with refuges so that people have places that are safe that they can be taken to if need be. A lot of people are coming to Southampton to visit pubs or clubs. Does it cause any additional problems? Yes, it does bring some extra problems with it. We get a large number of people coming into the city centre to visit the pubs and clubs as we do in other towns and cities and that does increase the levels of violent crime that we have. 
we're working really hard at reducing those incidents of violent crime and we are being successful in that. There never is an excuse to use violence. Um, the only time that it's justified is if you're going to protect yourself, another or your property. What I'd ask is please come into Southampton, enjoy yourself and just make sure that your enjoyment doesn't interfere with someone else's. Thank you. Would you like to add anything else, Inspector? Yes, Southampton is a great place. Take simple precautions and that should keep you safe. Thank you very much, Inspector Bates. Here you are, you've heard from the Police Direct. Southampton is a safe place, but make sure you take the simple precautions. Okay.